we're going to use the four-step solving process. So state, we wish to test the following hypotheses at the alpha equals 0 0.01 level. Our null hypothesis is that mu equals 3000. And our alternative hypothesis is that mu is greater than 3000. Where mu is the true minimum breaking strength in pounds for this company's cable. So we have three things in our state step. We have our significance level, which is alpha equals 0 0.01. We have our hypotheses, and we've defined our parameter mu. In the plan step, we need our inference method and also to check conditions. So we say if conditions are met, we will use a one sample t-test for mu. The random condition is met because we used 32 randomly selected segments of cable. For the normal condition, since the sample size is 32, it's large enough for the central limit theorem to apply, and for the sampling distribution to be approximately normal. That means it's safe to use t-procedures. Finally, for the independent step, as long as we assume the segments of cable for our sample represent no more than 10% of the total population of cable, so all the cable the company has, the 10% condition is met, and we can assume independence. Now we're ready for the do step, and we're going to calculate our test statistic. So we're going to take our sample mean, 3022.8, and subtract the mean of our null hypothesis, 3000. We're going to divide that by the standard error, which is 47.2 divided by the square root of the sample size, 32. A good trick on the calculator is to press alpha and y equals. That allows you to input fractions. So we get a test statistic of 2.73. Now what does this test statistic actually mean? We can use a calculator to investigate. If you press the stat button and go over to test, scroll down to t-test, and we have the summary statistics, so push stats. Now the mean in our null hypothesis is 3000, and our sample mean is 3022.8, and our sample standard deviation is 47.2, and our sample size is 32. And our alternative hypothesis is that mu is greater than 3000. When we go down to draw, it draws a t-distribution with 31 degrees freedom. It also marks the critical value of approximately 2.733 and gives us our p-value, which in this case is 0 0.0051. What that means is if the true mean breaking strength is 3000 pounds, the probability of us getting a sample that had a mean this high is only 0 0.0051. So since this value is small, we're gonna reject the null hypothesis. If you press the stat button again and return to t-test, this time instead of draw, let's push calculate. So here's our test statistic and our p-value in more detail. Now we're ready to conclude. With a p-value of about 0 0.0051, which is less than alpha at 0 0.01, we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the minimum breaking strength exceeds 3,000 pounds. A type 1 error would be concluding the mean breaking strength exceeds 3,000 pounds when it does not. A type 2 error would be failing to conclude the mean breaking strength exceeds 3,000 pounds when it does. In our situation, since we rejected the null hypothesis, the only possible error we could have made is a type 1 error. And a type 1 error would be more serious in this situation, as we would overestimate the cable's strength. In an amusement park application, this could be very dangerous. If you want to learn more about significance tests, check out this playlist. It starts with the basics and builds all the way to videos like this. It's great for preparing for the AP stats exam.